So we're here for the GOV inspection with Harlow and she's being fantastic. What? Har! What? Harlow! Whoa, it's your face. So Harlow and I are here for the GOV inspection, the German Oldenburg Burband inspection. Um, she's here to get approved for like a breeding approval so that when she has babies, if the stallion is approved for this registry, her babies get to go in the registry. So yeah, they were having one and even though she's not pregnant, I figured I might as well take her and just get it over with and done so that when she eventually does have babies, she can just go and have her baby approved. I took her here last night and she has been fantastic. She hopped right off the trailer into the stall and just started eating quietly even though she's not really stalled and hasn't really been since the racetrack. So I thought that this might trigger her to kind of remember some stressful memories, but she's been really good. She let me braid her completely unhaltered um, and has just been phenomenal. So now we're just going for a walk while we wait our turn. She's definitely like not completely at ease, but she used to be like flying a kite when she'd start to get upset. So the fact that she can eat even though she's nervous is a huge improvement from when I got her. Like to be frank with like braiding thing, that thing I'm super proud about with her standing coming right off a trailer in a new place because like a lot of my more experienced horses who don't have the same trauma of being at the racetrack and not liking it. They still can't do that because they need more time to settle in. So it's pretty huge for her to do that because I've also not really taken her off property anywhere like this since like last year. Oh, good mama mare. You have like a unicorn horn forelock. <laughs> you look silly. So these are her papers and we take these to go get stamped once she's approved. You can be there. She's just being cute. You're cute, Harlow. So all you need to do is put a baby in front of her and then she's all majestic and stuff. <laughs> Harlow.
the typical thoroughbred conformation with a bit shorter um, neck and uh, a bit um, under neck, but that's a uh, red type. Um, so she could be a bit more elegant in the head and uh, have a bit more gender type form that she's a mare. Yeah? So now you think maybe she's a girlie. <laughs> He's like, who is that? Look how cute Maggie is. She's so cute. Maggie is a feminine head. Yes. Unlike you, Harlow. Not you, you man. Jughead. Harlow's like, I don't care about this kid. I don't want to go in there and scare her, so. Good. Underwhelming is always good. So, I know, I just <sighs> look at him looking super majestic. Oh my god. Boys chasing girls. Nothing changes. <laughs> okay, watch out if the I just be careful not to stand in any opening. Oh, Oh. oh, I don't want to be right next to you guys. Yeah, so many chestnuts, holy cow. Because Banksy's not really been this close to girls ever, right? So it's quite exciting for him. Yeah, he's going to get kicked. Yeah, but he's going to get nailed by... The little one. That's okay, someone will. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Carlo, I think. What a dick. That poor filly. Huh? I think so. Guys, you're harassing her. Leave her alone. That's what he did with Banksy initially. Good grief, guys. Yeah, he's getting mad at Banksy too. He's very majestic. And me. Oh. He looks sound. Just. Into a wild yeah, I know. He's being annoying. Wow. Okay, well, I hope he's not going to hurt Banksy. Oh, guys, settle down. <sighs> We're going to just leave it open. I only closed them off so they wouldn't harass them right out of the trailer. Milo!
Harlow, boot him. Kick him back. There. Milo is creepy. He chooses the young one every time. This thing is a yearling. Harlow is eight years old. Creepy. Bro, you can't force her to be friends with you. Yeah, Harlow, I don't blame you. He kicked you. Tell him. Milo, you're being a creep. Look at you. She's one. You're ten. Not okay. Not o Oh, yeah, you tell him. Yeah, tell him. His weenie is out, you disgusting pig. Dude. Come on, man. You have a woman your own age and you take the one that's closest to Banksy's age? Who would have thought that Banksy, who was gelded last year, would be the more civilized, less sex-crazed young man than the one who was gelded eight years ago? Eight years ago. What the hell, Milo? You are a perv. That thing is a child. Hi, good girl. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, you're so friendly. You just gotta let me scratch you and then you'll really see how cool people are. Hi, good girl. so annoying. Leave her alone. When women want to run away from you, it's because they don't want to hang out with you right now. Take the L, Banksy. Take the L. Let the l woman live. Take, hang out with the one who wants to see you. It's like, I can't hang out with that one or Milo will attack me. Okay, so now that most of the excitement is over, this little fart is Gala. She is presumably a yearling. When she came in from the auction in end of October, beginning of November for the person who purchased her from the auction. She was super small and apparently at the auction she was trying to like nurse off of other yearling fillies or younger fillies. Um, so she was probably brought to the auction and just like weaned from her mother cold turkey there because she was really, really small. I'll try to get some photos to include in this video of when she first came in. And yeah, she came in with a bunch of other younger um fillies who were or like one younger filly and another colt and both her and the other filly were said to be part belgian she's really quite small so i don't think she's half belgian but she might have some belgian in her and yeah she's just completely unhandled so she's not halter broke um she'll take food out of the hand and she's like comfortable enough around people that like obviously like i'm sitting right here and she's not leaving so she's gotten used enough to people through being fed and just handled that way that she's good but her owner that got her from the auction initially didn't have enough time for her so hasn't done a ton with her so i need to halter break her and get her more comfortable being handled um so that we don't have to shoot load her again if she has to go anywhere um and yeah, I didn't really need another horse, but Harlow's the only mare that I own. And now that we have like 12 acres of pasture between the two properties, I wanted to get another female horse so that Harlow doesn't get absolutely mauled by all the boys when she goes out with them because it'll kind of divide the attention between the two of them. And as you can see, Milo, for whatever reason, is much more interested in this prepubescent thing than he is in the full grown mare. Like, see, he's mean to her, pinning his ears at her. So yeah, apparently you just like children, like toddlers, Milo. That's so weird. And I don't know if it's even specific to her being a filly because like when Banksy was small like that, he was obsessed with Banksy and chasing everyone away from Banksy in very much the same way. Um, but yeah, now we have Chestnut City here, minus Harlow. 
Um, and yeah, she's settling in well and she's honestly really, really good. because She's quite social and like she wants to like people. She's just still scared. So it'll take her some warming up, but I honestly don't think it'll take me very long to eventually get a halter on her and get her halter broke because she is quite friendly and she's super food driven. So if I just handle her every time I'm here for everyone else and give her food, I think she'll come along really quickly. Um, a bunch of people asked me when I posted a photo of her if she's a Mustang. We don't really have, like we have the BC Wildies and Albertan Wildies, but they're not really considered like Mustangs in the same way of the American ones. Like we don't have a BLM or anything like that that handles that. Um, so it's just a lot of horses that tend to just breed on like public property or are put out on large acreages by a people who have intact horses. And then they just reproduce at a rapid rate and everyone lives wild on these huge plots of land until they're eventually dumped at an auction like this one was. So yeah, in terms of breed, your guess is as good as mine. She's got really solid legs and really nice feet. Um, and like a bit of the coloring reminds me of a Belgian, but I don't think she's super drafty because I honestly don't think she'll be very big. So maybe she's crossed with some sort of smaller cross, like a pony cross. Anyways, her name is Gala, like the apple. Um, that's what she was named by the person who got her from the auction. I think I'm going to keep it. Um, she doesn't know her name yet, so if I change it, it's not going to cause any issues. But yeah, she's super, super cute. I think she'll make a really cute little horse. So since she's only one, obviously she's just going to be a field pet for a little while um, and get handled. And then maybe I'll sell her as a two-year-old. Maybe I'll keep her. It kind of depends on what I'm doing and how things go with all the pasture stuff. I have no idea how tall she is. She's definitely pony height. She's probably only like 13 hands. Pretty sure she's smaller than pistachio. So she's little uh, and probably just one this year. Being an attractive woman, Harlow. Aww. She's like, go away. He's like, no, I'm not going. Bro. <laughs> Put it away. Okay, so everyone has settled into place. No more running. Penises are away, mostly, except for Banksy's, kind of. Um, that might just be permanently out now that he can see girls 24 seven, but yeah, chillin'. Thanks everyone for watching and supporting my channel. Just a reminder that I have a bunch of new summer riding shirt releases as well as base layer releases. All of our new base layer releases are made from recycled fabric if you want to shop a fun, sustainable option while still having it be stylish and comfortable. I also have a bundle deal going on for all of my new releases for clothing. If you buy two, you get one 30% off with code BUY30 at checkout. If you buy three, you get one 50% off with code BOGO, B-O-G-O at checkout. And if you buy four, you get one Free with code free at checkout. I also have some new bridal releases like the rose gold bridles. There's a few quantities remaining from the first restock. And then my Western bridles will also be hitting the store as well. All of my anatomical bitless and bitted bridles, the Harlow and Milo bridle have been restocked as well and are available for purchase. If you're interested in checking those out, you can check those out at the link down below in my description.